Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be doing another loom knit pro uh, tutorial. It is for these wonderful tube socks. And we're going to start that in just a moment. everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we're doing another tutorial with our 24 peg loom. We are going to be making these tube socks. So I've done the first one. Haha! -ha. I didn't allow myself to do the video until I was on the second sock, so I actually completed the set. <laughs> we all have to play our own little mind games, don't we? Um, okay, so you're going to need a 24 peg um, this is a Nifty Knitter um, loom. I'm using Worsted Weight Yarn. It is Red Heart Comfort. It is a medium four. And it is acrylic. Now I have since thread and found out oh the lock color is e 707 d i don't know if that helps you any it doesn't have like just a color color um yeah so it's a worsted weight four ply yarn you're also going to need scissors a needle and a measuring tape to measure your progress. So to start off, we're starting at the heel. We need to make a slip knot. So the way I make a slip knot is I cross my yarn with the tail at the back. I hold that between my middle and thumb. I take the tail, I go around the loop, and then I put like that. And then I've got a slip knot. Okay, let's do it again. So I make, I cross my yarn with the tail at the back of the cross. I hold it with my thumb and finger. I go around the loop and then I put the tail through the loop that I made by going around. Pull tight and there's my slip knot. If you have another way, do it your way. I am not picky. Okay, to start we are going to e-wrap. So we put it on our starting peg there. We're just gonna move that out of the way. I also have marked every third peg, okay? So I used yarn here, marker here, yarn here, yarn here, yarn here, marker there. Yeah, so I'm not very consistent. <laughs> so we're gonna start our foundation row with an e-wrap. To do an e-wrap, you go around the peg from the back, and there's your wrap. Okay. We are going to do this all the way around. And making these socks, I this is actually about the fourth pair that I've made, and I've not been happy with any but this one so far. So this sock that I'm teaching you is to, smit, to fit a small foot. My feet are size five ladies, that's US sizes. Um, so yeah, okay, so now we've done that foundation. Now our first one where we have marked with the red is going to be a pearl. So to do a pearl, you bring your working yarn to the front. Your e-wrap goes up to the top. Now, you're going with your hook. You're going to grab that e-wrap or go under the e-wrap. Grab your yarn. Bring it up. You're making a loop. You're slipping the e-wrap off and putting your new stitch on. Okay. Now, these next stitches are knit, but I have discovered with loom knitting, there are four different kinds of knit. 
The knit I tried first was an e-wrap knit, just like we cast it on with. And I found that the sock was far too wide for my foot. So if this sock is too tight, then go with the e-wrap and that'll make it a bit wider. But we're, so to do an e-wrap, you would go like that, just like we did at the beginning. But we're not doing that. We are doing what's called a u-wrap. So you go around the front above our e-wrap, hold it with your back fingers, and then you're taking this and you're bringing it over. Okay, and that is a u-wrap. And we're going to the next one, and we're also doing a u-wrap. The next one, see we've got a little mark there. This is gonna be a pearl. Bring your yarn to the front. And we're doing a pearl. Make that loop and put that loop on the peg. Next one, U-wrap. Oops. Next one is a U-wrap. Oops. Don't do that. Nay, nay. Okay. Let's try it again. You wrap. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Bring your yarn to the front because we've got a marker here. And this will be a pearl. Okay. And then pop that stitch off and put the new loop on. And then we're doing you wrap. And you know what, guys? You're not gonna believe it. This is the whole pattern for the sock. You're gonna do this until your work measures 16 inches. And it's so easy. I knit as well as crochet. And with regular knitting, I find I can do in the round with one of those sock, um, needles, the really tiny circular needles. It will take me three days to make one sock. I made one sock on this loom in a day and I love it. I love it, love it, love it. The ones that I made with the knitting needles I actually found are too wide for my feet again. I just have teeny tiny feet. I mean it's not a anyone's problem it's just that you'd think if you're making your own stuff you can make it to fit which I have now done with this sock and the whole difference is the kind of knit you use now see this is a marked one and the only reason I marked some with felt and some with yarn is because some of my yarn fell off and I had a marker beside me so I marked it with marker yeah, I'm a pretty simple person. <laughs> I don't make things very complicated. So here we go. So do this for 16 inches. And meet me back. Okay, so I've done my 16 inches. And now we're going to bind off our sock. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut two lengths of yarn. Let me zoom out a bit so that you can see how long these yarn are. So roughly 15 inches. See? Okay. Now what you're going to do is starting, you're going to put it on the darning needle, starting where your working yarn is coming out. So see mine's coming off that post. We're going to go down through that stitch, leave a bit of a tail, and then we're going to do that for 12 stitches. So half the stitches is a 24 stitch loom or a 24 peg loom so we're going to do this for 12. Three, four, and always from the top to the bottom. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 
unhook that. <laughs> 11 and 12. Okay, now I'm just going to take my needle off and I'm going to make sure to have a bit of a tail on each side. Okay, now I have another one the same length. And again, for the very next stitch, I'm going from the top to the bottom, leave a bit of a tail, and we're just going to do that for the remainder, remaining 12. Remaining 12. Oh my goodness. I really got to someday do a bloopers reel. It's because <laughs> half the time I can't talk. Oh well. Okay, oops, don't catch your marker. Speaking of markers, I'm thinking of showing everyone how to make some knit markers for their pegs or if you needle knit. Yeah, cause I make my own. I mean, not the yarn kind, but like this kind. I make them myself. So I thought I was thinking of doing a video on that. I don't know. I might give it a try. And I've never tried to sell them either. I make them for myself and then loot them. That's what I do. And then I was thinking, I have two left of these ones that I made. And they're cute. I was thinking, geez. You know, I've got two left. Maybe I should make them into earrings. <laughs> I know. Isn't that crazy? But I make jewelry too, so who knows? Okay, so make sure it's all right. Okay, and I got this, how to do the toe off. Uh, I got inspired by another lady. I put her video um, in the knitting playlist. So just... I have it in my knitting, which is both needle knitting and loom knitting. Now all we're doing is we're taking the stitches off. With that, that yarn still woven through, okay. Oh, and for your working yarn, take it, wrap it around your your loom once and then give it a snip so you're not attached sorry I could have done that before okay so just keep taking off your stitches until they're all off Okay, so let's put the loom up there. So now here's what we're looking at. We've got these two um, um, yarns, and we're just going to kind of shimmy those stitches in a bit on both sides. So putting the two ends together, you're just going to shimmy those stitches a bit. Okay, now going to where your working yarn is, you're going to thread it, okay, and we're doing kind of what's called kitchener stitch. So first though, we need to go through the loop that our working yarn is coming from, we're going to go through it and try not to catch our placeholder yarn. And we're just gonna pull that tight to make a knot, okay? Now on the other stitch, we're gonna pick up a stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in a bit. Okay, so we're picking up the stitch. 
Okay, and then on the other side, we're picking up stitch. Make sure you're picking up the next one. And then a stitch. And then the other stitch. And then the other stitch. Okay, so you're always going one side to the other side. And you don't want to catch fibers of our yarn that's holding our stitches. So be careful about that. Okay. And then the other, sorry, dang it. I try not to go out of frame. Okay, so that one, and then that one, and then this one. Sorry, I'm working around a camera. It makes it a bit of a challenge. So see, we're coming out of this stitch, so we're going to go into this stitch next. And then that stitch. Don't catch those. We don't want those sewn in. Okay, and then this stitch. And then this stitch. So if you haven't had a chance, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. I do, I've just started doing loom knitting on this channel. I did it years ago and I have picked it back up because it seems like loom knitting has come a long way. And when I figure out new stuff, I want to share it with you guys. And that's why I also tell you which links inspired me or you know what I mean? Like, because it may inspire you to do something too. And if there's something that you want to do or you have an idea you want to do, but you haven't quite figured it out, tell me and I'll see if I can figure it out. Okay, so now we're going through that last stitch. Okay, so now we're going to make it, I'm just going to pull it a little bit, make sure it's nice and snug. So that's about right. That's about, where's my tape measure? Our toe is about two inches and that's about how I want it. So now very carefully, you're going to take out these stitch holder rolls. Now, at the end of our toe here, we are going to just put a stitch, which makes a loop. We're going to go through our loop from the back once, then we're going to do it twice, and then holding so that we're not distorting the stitches, we're going to pull tight. Okay? Now, you never cut where you knot. So now we're going to put this to the inside and we're going to turn our work inside out. Now this is a 16 inch tube sock. If you want it longer, go ahead and make it longer. It's a tube sock. Make it as long as you want. If you want it to go up to your knees, have it go up to your knees. I don't mind. So now I'm just going to give a few stitches. If I want to reinforce the toe, this would be a good time to do that. I'm going to zoom back a bit. Ooh, too much. There we go. Yeah, and now we just hide our thread a bit more. I'm kind of going over that toe again, just because, you know, I can. Why not? And then I'll kind of go back over itself a bit. And then usually to finish off, I start going up 
the side of one of the ridges. See there? Going up the side. And I try and keep weaving my ends um, so that it goes with the motion of the sock. So now I'm going across the row. I'm going to the other side to the ridge. Oops, and I lost my thread. So when I put on my sock, my yarn, where I've put, you know, woven in the end, it will be going with the stretch of the sock, like downwards, where the way my foot is going. Does that make sense? I probably overthink these things too much, but. And I'm not going to knot again because we all know that knots on your foot don't feel good. Then I go up to the top and I find that one. This one I also am going to put a bit of a knot. So just like last time, you go in here until you get a loop. You go through your loop once. Go through your loop twice, holding the stitches so you don't distort, and then pull tight. Never cut where you're not. So now I'm going to go along the ridge. And this is going with the flow of the sock. So when I stick my foot in the sock, I'm not going to be going against the weave of this weaving in thread. So it shouldn't poke out. And I'll just do that for a bit. And then I will snip. And you know what? That's all there is to it. We have made, where's my other sock? We have made two socks, two socks, two tube socks. So let's pretend that there's a foot. There's one and there's two of our socks. Okay, let me zoom out a bit. Dang it. There, see? And the thing I like about these is they're nice and tight. I have made needle socks that, I mean, it is to do with the stitch I used, but they just, they my feet float in them because I have very tiny feet. So that's all there is to it. Hit the like and look at that toe. See, it's all nice. Hit the like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Bye now.